anti-flob community. Man, I want to talk to y'all one second, man. Can I talk? Can I? Can I talk to y'all? Let me get up on this mic, man. Can I? Can I talk to y'all? Can we just have a conversation, man? I want to. Uh, I got some stuff on my mental, man. Some stuff that I've been seeing, man. Some bad behaviors that I've been seeing that I wanted to speak on real quick. Um, and this actually is a conversation or a statement or an appeal to men. Well, I'm sorry, to males and females. I want to talk to both of y'all. As I scroll on YouTube, I spend a lot of time on YouTube as me being a content creator. I've been noticing, you know, a lot of conversations about dating and, you know, uh, men this, women this, you know, a lot of a lot of bickering. And, uh, you know, it seems, it appears that it's some type of agenda war going on, right? Like where, you know, men ain't getting along with women, women not getting along with men. Just a lot of back and forth. And I just want to say something, man, about that. I just want to say something, man, if it's okay with y'all. Okay. Um, if you're a male and you're a slob, and what I mean by slob, um, you're broke, you don't have a place, you don't have a car, you don't have any money, you're living in a mama's basement, You don't really have a voice in this conversation. We don't want to hear from you. Vice versa. You're an obese woman. You have multiple children by multiple men. We don't want to hear from you. And that's my biggest um, uh, grievance that I'm having as what I'm seeing is that I'm seeing uh, different genders that are at the bottom of the totem pole of mate selection, having so much to say about dating. But it's like, what are you talking about? Why do you have so much to say when it comes to dating and you ain't got your ish together? Here, you ain't got yourself together, but you're endeavoring to go out here and date and speak about what's going on out here in the dating market and you're a slob. Yeah, you're overweight, you're living at home with mom, you don't have any money, don't have anything to offer anyone, but you got, you think that you, you know, afforded an opinion on what's going on out here in society when it comes to dating. The nerve of you, yeah, the nerve of you. Um, that's just my biggest gripe, man. I, I really, really strongly believe that, um, if you don't have yourself together, male or female, man or woman, either one, if you don't have yourself together, you don't have a voice to be complaining about what a woman is doing or what a man is doing. No, a man and a woman ain't your problem. No, 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 that ain't, that ain't your problem. You are your own problem, you in your own way. You know, we gotta get back to this self-awareness and looking in the mirror and asking ourselves, what do we bring to the fucking table, right? Not what we feel like we bring to the table. What actually do we bring to the table to the other mate? So, uh, you know, you guys got to get out of this mindset of, um, I am the table or I'm going to just give somebody what I think they should have. No, no. You're a woman and you want a man, you need to figure out what do men want, give them what they want, problem solved, you get what you want. You're a man, you need to figure out what do women want, give them what they want, problem solved. You don't get to re-legislate what people find attractive, what people value. You also don't get to get online and complain about uh, the outcomes that you get when you haven't put any you haven't put any work in to improve yourself and deliver a better package to the opposite gender. But you're wanting them. You're wanting them to take you serious, but you're not taking yourself serious. Right? Uh, nowhere in life does that work. Nowhere in life is that gonna get you anywhere, gonna get you any outcome, any result that you're endeavoring to have. Nobody deserves anything. So you guys got this complex of where you think you deserve all of this stuff, 
that you haven't earned. I think you deserve all of this stuff. You put no work in, no effort in, but you deserve it. It's supposed to be yours, it's mine. I want it, give it to me, give me now. No, you gotta do what's vital to the title in order to earn what you want. So if you're a fat slob, stop being a fat slob. Fall under the anti-slob doctrine and get yourself together. Anti-sloppy, lazy, obese, bad behavior. Improve yourself. Self-improvement crosses both gender lines. Everybody can use some self-improvement, including me. I've already went to the gym earlier, got a two and a half full body workout in. I'm about to go back as soon as this video is done. Do some more cardio. Do some more self-improvement. Because I'm addicted to it. I love it. I'm not going to sit up here and complain about others when I know I can use that same energy and effort put into myself, increase my value, and then I'll be able to attract exactly what I want. Why don't you guys learn that? Why don't you guys learn the law of attraction? But like I say, man, I'm just getting sick and tired of scrolling on YouTube. I see an obese woman screaming about how there's no good men out here. This about men, that about men, men are the problem. Where I'm looking at the problem. I'm looking at an obese woman. How dare you? The nerve of you. Now, I don't see as much with men because uh, a lot of guys know, you know, you're going to get roasted. You bring your broke ass to a public platform talking like this. See, but women, you know, you guys get coddled. You guys lie to each other. So, uh, you know, you guys got a lot of nerve. Cause like I said, I see that more, but I do see guys that do it. And um, don't embarrass yourself, guys. You know, don't be delusional. You can't afford, I told you guys before, you can't afford to be delusional as a man. Uh, the world is the world, reality is reality. You don't get the luxury to live in a la la, fairy tale, delusional fantasy land. You have to live in the real world. And if you don't, reality is going to knock the furniture out of your mouth immediately because you're a man and that's how things are. So, uh, just self-awareness, man. Self-awareness is key. Self-awareness. Don't have your stuff together. You don't have your house in order. Don't get online complaining about what you don't have. Just don't do it. I'm tired of seeing that. I'm, not, I'm sure you guys are still gonna do it because you guys, a lot of you guys are just slobs. It's in you. It's not on you, it's in you to be a slob. Uh, but just, man, you come across this video, just try to look within, man. Look within yourself. See what it is you're doing wrong. See what it is you can improve upon. And just get better, man. That's all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Love y'all as always. Like this video. Subscribe. Uh, we'll be going live really, really soon. Like in a week or two, we're going to start going live. Because I want to get some engagement. I want to hear what you guys got to say. And I want to get some discourse going on. I don't get some back and forth. You know, what do you guys think? What do you, you know, what do you, what is your opinion about, you know, the things that I speak about? You know, you got a disagreement. You got a, a issue with anything that I speak on. You don't like the the anti-slobism. You know, you think that it, it maybe you should be pro sloppy, pro lazy, pro obese, pro bad behavior. You know, um, let's let's talk about it. You know, let's let, let's talk about it. You know, uh, come with the facts. Because uh, I refuse to debate anybody's feelings. You feel how you feel. Everybody's entitled to feel how they feel. But I don't have to, I don't have to listen to your feelings. Go get a therapy. Go get a therapist. But uh, I appreciate y'all, man. We're going, we're going to continue the conversations and move the needle forward. Peace. Love you guys. We're out. Anti-slobs, anti-lazy, trying to be the best me That I can be, it's up to me I'm taking all accountability I just gotta keep going hard To get the win I get it again No pain, no gain This ain't just a diet plan This a whole life change This a whole life choice Listen to my voice You can tell I ain't playing I'm trying to be the best I can be That's my goal So I'm gonna go, go, go Yeah, go, go, go Anti-slob, anti-slob Anti-slab, anti-slab, anti-slab.